What are we talking about? <laughs> An email we received from a very well-intentioned husband about his wife and her orgasm that got me thinking about this preoccupation we have with judging a female orgasm. Oh my goodness. Well, it keeps us in business, honey. <laughs> so he wrote in because he was trying to help his wife achieve an orgasm, which is amazing, right? I mean, well, it's thoughtful. <laughs> you wouldn't say amazing, thoughtful. But. So I advised the wand and he had some questions about the wand and the almond oil and I gave him like the whole Betty Dotson two-step <laughs> lube and wand, lube and wand. So he wrote back to me and he said it worked, but she had an orgasm that she kept on going and had more orgasms. But why does it take his wife 20 minutes to orgasm and why can she only orgasm with the wand? What is wrong with her? Him. <laughs> and you know, it, it. I could feel a tension in the email. I know. And I felt sorry for him, but I really kind of felt so more sorry for the wife because I can't imagine you know, trying to achieve an orgasm with this kind of person. Hovering, <laughs> hovering male energy over you. And we've all been there, you know, especially if you're at a sex party, there's always like the hovering <laughs> you know, vampire kind of thing that happens. <laughs> I guess what was galling is it's kind of like men want visual stimulation. They want their pornography. Women want clitoral stimulation. They want their vibrators or hands or stuff like that. That's just the way it is. That's what is. I know I agree with you. Dr. Dotson, <laughs> do you have anything to share yes, with us? Yes, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, these old guys, you're talking about this one questioner that we had recently. He's, he's, he's coming from a right place. He cares about yes, her pleasure. Yes, which is nice, and I want to give him props for that. <clears throat> but it's, they always go into overkill. What really works best for women, all of us, is just to be left alone. Go off to work. Go clean the backyard. Empty the, you know, the garage. Just, it just leave her alone. I mean, well, let a woman be sexual. Let her express herself the way she expresses herself. It's like if you're a woman, you're just judged and critiqued endlessly. Endlessly. And if you want to like let me lose my clit erection faster, don't tell me that I orgasm wrong. No. <laughs> Don't tell me it's not fast enough. I mean, you've been doing this for the last seven minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I once had a, a lover I went to stimulate my clitoris during penetration. He said, you kept on doing that last night. What's that about? And I just said, well, that's how I orgasm. Oh? <laughs> you, stepped, you kept on trying to stick your finger in my asshole. What's that about? <laughs> Oh, we're all out in left field. Well, what if we could just let each other be sexual and orgasm and not judge it? Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's just like let our partners have a good time and get off. For the next month. <laughs> right? And what if we could just say, oh, is there anything I can do? What, what do you like? Start a conversation. And the truth is, is that my very favorite thing in partner sex was to go through all the rigmarole of partner sex and do him and him and he does me and then we finally have our orgasms and then he would get up and go into the bathroom and to, you'd finish <laughs> yeah. i'd really finish i grab it and i didn't worry about how i looked how i sounded how hard i was pressing with the vibrator that no man could imitate and you, you how can a partner compete with a neural circuit in your own body between your clitoris and your brain that as you're touching it you're getting feedback of what feels good it'll never happen same thing with a penis how can I manually stimulate or, or uh, suck you off in a way that if you were doing it yourself you know you always have that little edge when it's your body <laughs> it's like, the timing it's the, the 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 strength of the grip or the the, the manual and touch. then you alter it a little and slow it down a bit, speed it up. I mean, this is like expecting somebody to chew your food and swallow it. What if they chew too fast? What if it's not fast enough? <laughs> what if the bite is too big? 
I'll chew my own food and swallow what I want to. Well, it's, we have to figure out, all couples have to figure out how they can come together and how they can go apart comfortably. I remember having to have the conversation with my husband after Grayson was born. You know, it's hard to find that time for partner sex. And so we were trying to schedule things and I had to let him know and give him permission. I'm like, you know, I really want you to masturbate on a regular basis. It's healthy for you. I'm masturbating because I'm home, right? But I know you have to go to work and you're trying, but I want you to know that I'm not going to get upset and I'm going to support that. It's masturbation. Yes, because I know that that will feed our sex life. Yeah. I'm not competing with it or getting upset by it. Like, it's not replacing me. It's Good. And did he, did he get that? Yes, yes, yes. Very good. This has to happen for all couples. Partner sex isn't easy. No, it's a dance. <laughs> uh, I don't do it very often anymore. Uh, so I really enjoy my own company maximum and I don't even miss partner sex I mean if it comes along fine but it's the predominant way we're having sex in America and I think it, the judgment of each other and our sexual expression I really wish we could get to a place where we could just accept our partner's sexual expression and that it doesn't define us. No matter what they're doing, it's theirs and, you, and we need to accept it. And particularly ourselves. Especially. So grant yourselves the personal freedom. Okay, bye-bye.